on there folks earthmaster here jumping in on this halloween evening kind of late just getting back from trick-or-treating there about 9 14 p.m west coast time here october 31st 2020 is the date the latest quake on the earthquake 3d globe here shows a 5.7 over here around the indonesia area where we've seen a little bit of movement going on over the last 24 hours this 5.7 striking at about 181 kilometers below surface so somewhat deep as uh, far as general activity goes in that region, we've seen a huge cluster of deep earthquake activity in Fiji Islands, or at least south of there. Uh, just an enormous amount of activity uh, in well below, well below the surface there. Some of these quakes striking 514 uh, kilometers below surface. That one there, almost 600 kilometers below surface. So some major plate movement going on uh, along the Pacific plate there. Also, uh, like I said, over here around the Indonesia area, definitely seeing some deep movement and some surface quaking going on uh, further to the west. So major movement going on out there, folks. Hopefully everyone has made it safe home. Yeah, we, I tell you what, I was out there for about three and a half, four hours trick-or-treating tonight with my uh, nephew and a couple of friends there. Definitely had a blast and um, i'm glad to see quite a few folks out there participating in the halloween event for the kids and that's the main thing for the kids there's that 5.7 there in the indonesia area also a little 4.8 prior to that 4.7 a little bit further west there up into the uh, area of uh well this region up in here i'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that name that's just uh, way out of my league there and uh yeah pretty uh pretty active just over the last couple hours or so in that region some major movement going on over here along the west coast not so much also up here around the alaska area too along the aleutian islands pretty quiet uh, i mean of course we see, we're seeing some earthquake activity up there but not like uh well, kind of not like we've seen over the past few days A little cluster of aftershocks following that uh large 7.5 7.6 in this region some time ago uh, it's been like a week week and a half two weeks ago i yeah i keep keep losing track of time some earthquake activity out there around the tennessee area or birmingham i should say northeast of birmingham area right alabama who would have thought earthquake activity going on out there but if you look at the specifics of the well, let's go ahead and add the U.S. hazard in here. And, you know, you got the New Madrid fault system over here. Well, to the west and northwest. The uh, mountains over here to the east. And some activity over here around the uh, Virginia area. So this 2.5 that struck around uh, looks like Triana, Trina, Alabama. Not necessarily in a high seismic risk area, but it still is within the, uh, well, light blue area. And that uh, shows that the potential for earthquake activity is there uh, regardless. Not super high. I don't believe we're going to see any type of damaging earthquakes out there. But uh, around the uh, New Madrid Fault and the Appalachian, App Appalachian Island App Islands. Whoa. When did this become underwater? <laughs> the mountains. Right? The mountain range over here. Uh, definitely uh, potential for larger earthquakes in the future. Uh, for sure. They've been documented in the past, and that will uh, no doubt come true in the future. Southern Cal, this is a 2.5 map and above here. You can see a little bit of activity on the North American plate there. Let's go ahead and switch over to the uh, all magnitudes here. I am I am quite tired, let me tell you. We walked quite a bit tonight for three and a half, four hours dwindling down out there even though there's some microquakes going on we haven't seen a whole lot of uptick in earthquake activity along the uh, southern part of the sandras fault on both sides obviously right the pacific side and the north american side there we've seen some earthquake activity but uh, no movement to report here along this plate boundary uh, no swarming going on around the salton sea area you got your typical Ridgecrest earthquakes up there. Sequence of aftershocks there uh, from last year. And of course, Nevada. All this area kind of looks uh, a little bit quiet tonight uh, compared to other nights when we see a, a pretty good 
swarm of aftershocks and whatnot in the region just a little bit uh, below average but uh, that you know it's variable it can come and go here along the coastal range of northern california a little bit of activity up around the willets area uh, not a whole lot just to the south it looks like a little small cluster of microquakes this region here has seen some um, quakes going on for oh, over the past month or so about two months i'd say within that region there nothing big just some uh, obvious pressure along this region right you got the plate boundary here this is the north american side the pacific plate out here to the west of this red line there so obvious pressure over the past couple months and tonight as well as far as earthquake activity goes there uh what else we got here like I said, Alaska, pretty quiet. Not a whole lot. I mean, this is all microquakes that we see uh, on any given day, any given night out there. This is pretty average here for uh, microquake, earthquake activity up there in a major seismic area. Uh, we got two quakes over there around the Indonesia area. And some aftershock activity occurring near Turkey following yesterday's pretty good strong quake over there. A couple four-pointers, upper four-pointers there. Um, Well, we got this 4.8 there. Interesting, they got this, uh, okay. Uh, anyway, yeah, a few quakes out there. Nothing major, just some aftershock activity, which is definitely going to be expected um, following a major quake. Chile? Chile. It's a little bit chilly out there tonight. Trigger treating. A couple fours out there. Nothing major going on. Overall picture, seismic hazard looks fairly quiet out here today, folks. Uh, as far as movement goes, but uh, you know, some some deep earthquake activity taking place through the Pacific Ring of Fire right here along this area. So, uh, you know, it's it's been like that. I'd say over the last 48 hours. So I'm definitely getting ready for some movement out there. So be prepared. Uh, Yellowstone National Park here looks pretty quiet. We did see a little bit of small microquakes going on around the uh, Maple Creek area earlier this morning. You can see these red uh, spikes there indicating localized earthquakes there in the vicinity of Yellowstone National Park. Maple Creek to be exact. The rest of the park looks pretty quiet for a super volcano. This activity down here to the south, though, Pitchstone pitch Plateau. See some uh, microquakes popping off there, potential swarming going on there in the south part of the uh, park. Kind of keeping an eye on that pretty closely. Also, that activity showing up uh, pretty lightly, though, on Yellowstone Net or on the uh, Old Faithful Geyser. But nonetheless, definitely showing up. That's how you can tell it's uh, earthquake activity by looking at the other localized stations out here. Some of these, maybe not, not going to show up. You know, the data is pretty squashed when it comes to uh, uh, showing seismic activity. But uh, showing up on Old Faithful, Moose Creek, Idaho looks like showing up as well. Uh, so kind of keep an eye on that for uh, potential swarming going on there in the south side of Yellowstone National Park. Trimmer, what's going on out there in the trimmer department, folks? Take a look at that. Looking more broader out there, a little bit broader scale of trimmer going on along the Cascadia subduction zone. Uh, we're looking at, uh, what do we got, 327 epicenters of trimmer. Still mostly confined in Washington. Uh, along the border there, northern Oregon, Washington border there. But also a little bit of increase there in southern Oregon and also up in the northern part of the Vancouver Island area. Uh, so a little bit broader scope of things going on there. Some slippage going on along the entire Cascadia subduction zone there. And uh, I'll say it again, whenever we see um, some large scale movement along the entire section like this from north to south with that Juan de Fuca plate there, we, uh, you know, it's it's an obvious sign of uh well it's not it's not release of pressure we're definitely seeing an increase in pressure out there along this section of the uh cascadia subduction zone so 
Oh, I am tired. I think I'm going to bed here real, 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 real soon. Today in earthquake history, it is not November 1st. We will check that out tomorrow, hopefully. October 31st. Let's go over here real quick. Uh, I'm just, I'm, I just got hit with, uh, with fatigue right now. This day in earthquake history on October 31st, 1970 is the date. Papua New Guinea region, 7.0, pretty good sized quake. This area, of course, uh, no doubt famous for some large quakes. Also, check it out in Missouri. We we're talking about the uh, region around the New Madrid area, right? 6.6, 1895. Now, these are not the big earthquakes. Uh, the bigger earthquakes uh, were back in these dates right here, where we've seen uh, a much, much larger magnitudes than the 6.6. But it still shows that uh, earthquake activity is pretty common out there. Uh, this is the largest earthquake to occur in the central Mississippi River Valley since the 1811-1812 series in the area of the New Madrid Fault, Missouri. Structural damage and liquefaction phenomena were reported along a line from, uh, what is that, Bert Bert Bertrand, Missouri. <laughs> and uh, Many sand blows were observed in an area southwest of Charleston, Missouri. And uh, yeah, so a pretty big earthquake out there. But much bigger ones are possible and uh, no doubt could potentially hit the area in the near future have a good night folks the earth is not turning backwards yet we haven't got uh, a rotation uh, opposite rotation going on yet so that's probably good i did put a little pumpkin up there just for the heck of it uh since you know it is halloween and whatnot so i'll take it down since uh I think all the trick-or-treaters are going to bed and me myself and I are going to bed too so we'll chat you guys tomorrow sometime hopefully uh, pending I don't die in my sleep I just feel <laughs> I've done so much walking tonight it's unreal uh, but it was fun definitely had fun out there. eat more candy than I have in the past few months I'm not a big candy person but I the kids, I, uh, my nephew and a couple other kids I was walking with, uh, they were very generous in uh, sharing their candy. So how could I say no, right? All right, guys, have a good night. Um, let me go back here to the 5.7, latest quake on the map there. All right, stay safe. Watch out for that full moon out there on Halloween night.